top level await is not allowed in common JS models in Node.js. So in this video, I will tell you about the workaround that you can have to fix this problem. So let's get started. So here I have got one example and you can see I'm using await at the top level. So generally only in the insi inside async functions we can use that. And if you run this, you will see this error as well. So you can see here, error it is saying await is only valid in async functions and the top level bodies of the models. Okay. So what it means is that you can't use await in the top level. You have to put this code inside the async function. So let us create one async function. And we are going to immediately invoke that one. So like this. And make sure that whenever you write a async function, the line above that should have the semicolon at the end. So before this async function, there is this line, right? So there should be a semicolon there. Otherwise, you will get the error saying that join is not a function or uh, whatever uh, function you are calling. So to avoid that error, make sure that you put a semicolon just before async function. And now if you run this code, it should work. So you can see now this worked. So this is one solution. Now another solution is that in common JS models, uh, this top level of it is not allowed, but you can definitely have the top level of it in ES6 models. So you can convert your common JS model file into ES6 model. And to do that, you can give the extension as .mjs. So normally the extension for the JavaScript files will be .js. But if you want to create a ES6 model, then you can put the extension .mjs. So here you can see I have a .mjs file and this is a ES6 model. This is not a common JS model. Remember that there are two types of models, common JS and ES6. So if you give the extension .mjs, then that node will treat this as a ES6 model. And in ES6 model, you can use the top level of it. So here you can see I am not using any async function still if I run this code it should work. You can see this works. So top level of it is working in ES6 models but not in the common JS model. But there is a workaround if you want to really use the common JS model then you can wrap this code inside the async function and then immediately invoke it. And also important thing to note is that you have to put a semicolon just before this async function as well. Thanks for watching.